best defense year in and year out is the defense that you know how to fix. This is a core principle of any collegiate or NFL coach in real life, and I think it's a real principle that can apply to Madden 22 and to Madden 23. As we think about preparing for Madden 23 and the defense we're going to break down today, um, this was a defense I spent a lot of time with this year, and it truly was, I think, the most versatile defense that I released um, over the course of the Madden 22 season. This one and one other one together, I think, meshed very well. And what we're going to teach you in this video is a way to run this specific defense in a way that gives you symmetry and gives you a defense, again, that you know how to fix. We're going to guarantee ourselves a lot of pressure at the opponent, which we're going to show you how to do that. And this is also a defense, again, I think can't stress this enough. You need to know how to fix the defense. So it's a defense that comes with several different variations of coverages. It comes with different run uh, shoots. It comes with a lot of different things that can be very helpful. And that's the nickel normal. And um, we're going to be breaking down one of the simplest blitzes in Madden and a blitz that has been good every single year that I can remember. And it is going to be very good in Madden 23. I actually think that it might be the best blitzing concept in Madden 23 for two reasons. Number one, it's very consistent. You're going to pretty much guarantee you're going to get pressure. But the second thing that makes this blitzing concept so effective is the fact that the coverage defense off of it gets just as much pressure and that's what makes it so good so the nickel blitz 2 out of nickel normal you can find this in the 46 playbook if you would like to get my full nickel normal defensive ebook there's a link in the description where you can go join our patreon i'm going to be revamping this defense format in 23 specifically there's some nuances and some changes uh, to this but by and large this defense is incredible in madden 23 and I actually think it was very effective in Madden 22 um, in terms of especially just giving you a base defense that you can pick up, you can play it, you can send pressure, you can play coverage, you can play match coverage, zone drops, whatever you want to do. So nickel blitz two out of nickel normal. And what we're going to do to set this up is real simple. All we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense, and then we're going to sh – or uh, I apologize. Well, you don't have to pinch your defense. Basically, what you want to do is you want to press, you want to pinch your D-line, and you want to shift your linebackers to the opposite side of the nickel corner. This is going to give you an ability, especially in Madden 23, to send pressure off of both edges. Now, here, the other beauty of this is I would recommend bringing these guys down in the box. It's going to help a lot in Madden 22 um, for seam streaks, and in Madden 23, it's going to put them in position to control the defense in a lot of ways. So... All we're going to do here is just all those things, and then we're going to crash our line out. So literally just you don't have to base a line. So press, uh, pinch line, crash line out, shift linebackers opposite of the running back, and then if you want to, you can bring those safeties down. That's not necessary for the blitz itself, but it does help with everything else. And what you'll see here, real simple, we're just going to get some simple pressure off of that right side, as you can see right at the quarterback. So again, just come out. Press, uh, pinch D-line, shift linebackers. I like to crash my linebackers or my line out. And really what I like to do with my user is stand on the side of the running back. So if the running back's over here, I'm going to stand on this guard. If the running back's here, I'm going to stand on this D-tackle. So stand on the D-tackle opposite of the running back. I think it helps a lot with the pressure, as you can see right there. Real simple blitz, but I think it's one of the best blitzes in the entire game. Now, what makes this so good is you can send it on the other side. So I'm going to zone my nickel corner now. I'm going to blitz my linebacker uh, after I shift it on to the left, and I'm going to stand over here, and what you'll see is this guy will come in every single time. Very good blitz. Um, and then I'll show you another thing that you can do with this. So let's say you, know, let's say you want that vert hook over there, so we're going to blitz this linebacker like so. And we do some, do a defense that kind of looks like this. If I stand here, I just – it's okay. The, the pressure will still come in is all I'm trying to get at. So as you can see there, pressure comes left, pressure comes right. And then what's also really good is in Madden 23, they made a big effort to make the running back a lot better in pass protection. So if your opponent's consistently blocking the running back, well, now I, from the same exact look, I can send six at the opponent – 
and um, that time didn't come in, but that's part of, again, a little bit of a nuance. It's a lot better in Madden 23. If you want it to come in in Madden 22, um, you would need to do something more like this, if you will. As you can see there, you get a little bit better of a chance for it to come in in terms of Madden 22. But in Madden 23, like I said, it's a little bit better. So another thing you can do, let me show you this real quick. You could do something like this. And what you'll see here, and for whatever reason, my linebacker's not coming in. But like I said, in Madden 23, this is a lot better. But anyways, this is a real simple defense. So now what we can do off of this um like i said you can send a lot more pressure so if they're truly going to block their tight end you know i could do something like this and as you can see the pressure is going to fight through come in in Madden 23 it's 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 you know they're going to have to max protect to stop this they're actually in madden 23 um believe it or not are going to have a little bit harder of a time stopping it for a lot of different reasons um but the linebacker loop is really good so this guy being out so wide and then what I would recommend here is maybe a crash down instead of a crash out. And what you'll see with this is this linebacker is going to be a machine coming out. So anyways, that's a little bit about how that works in terms of Madden 23 logic. And then the other thing that makes it so good is I could be in a match coverage and everything looks exactly the same. So as you can see right here, this looks exactly the same. Um, and then if I'm smart, I'll bring these guys down. It doesn't have to be like super, but if just a little bit of movement down is very helpful. And then you can go through and make your adjustments. So you've got boom, boom. And the flipping of bunch is really not that good this year. Um, the play will completely reset. And so those are some things that you have going in your favor. Madden 23 is a lot better than Madden 22. This defense is going to be very effective in Madden 23. I think it was personally fairly effective in Madden 22 as well. You know, a simple way you could get pressure, you could just do something like this, and you will see here we should get pretty good consistent pressure. That same concept still applies to Madden 23. So, anyways, that's the video. If you want to learn the defense, join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up, and it will get you access to our Nickel Normal Defensive eBook. And in addition to that, we'll also give you access to all 30 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. In addition to that, we're also giving you all of our Madden 23 training camp materials um, that you'll be able to get access to as long as your membership's active. So 10 bucks gets you everything, all the eBooks, everything you need to be successful in Madden 23. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.